There is no winning in this room with the light. Nope. That's so funny. They kind of look like, like Wolverine claws descending from the ceiling. Oh. Okay, anyway. Hi! My name is Hannah. I am visiting today from Today in My Teenage Angst, which you can find um, right here above my head. Um, I'm really thrilled, really thrilled to be um, guest blogging on Susie's site. There has been talk of making this a regular thing, but um, my charisma might not amount to enough tonight, and so she might put a big X through that. Anyway, um, I've known Susie for a really long time, could tell her some pretty funny stories, but I'm not going to do that tonight, because tonight I have um, some very funny things to share with you. I work at a library as a page, um, which pretty much means I shelve the books that people bring back, which means I end up scorning all the patrons for taking the books out, because I know that they're going to bring them back, and I'm going to have to shelve them. Example number one, worst title of a romance novel to date, If the Stick Turns Pink. A little baby on the front and a, ger a Gerber Daisy. Um, i just like to take this time to um, read to you a little excerpt from the back, which really does give um, a, g a good picture of the quality that, that resides within this. Not very long, but nonetheless excellent piece of fiction. Melanie Waters wanted a baby badly, so she proposed marriage to the most confirmed bachelor in town, her best friend, Bailey Jenkins. In turn for getting Melanie pregnant, frustrated pageant judge Bailey could escape the clutches of the town's tiara-hungry single woman. Surely their friendship could survive this marriage of convenience unscathed. I don't really know how well this is going to end. But I'm also not willing to find out. <coughs> oh. That's something you want online. My second favorite thing about working at the library is finding authors who coincide with their um, genre of fiction. Uh, Karen Slaughter is a real live murder mystery novelist. Like, the woman didn't have a choice in life. Neither did this woman. Joanna Trollope. A passionate man. I don't know when the word Trollope came to be a last name. Or, reverse that, when the last name Trollope came to mean what it did. Maybe the Trollope family were just big skanks. They had a whole bunch of daughters that just, you know, ran around town. She's Trollopin. It's a comparative term. I'd like that to be the answer to my question. Well, thank you very much for joining me tonight. Um, check back here again next Wednesday. I might not be here if Susie is dissatisfied with the production of this little video here, but um, check back. Uh, again, here's my blog address if you want to hop on over there and see what I have to say. Um, it's the end of the summer, so hopefully my laziness in blogging will end and I will get back on that train. Thanks again for coming. You're all swell. I feel like I'm supposed to have like a tagline at the end of this, like good night and good luck, or I don't know what anybody else's tagline is. Silence. Silence will be my tagline. <laughs> good night.